I rarely talk about um, songs that I like. <clears throat> Not very often in my videos, but um, there's one from the Moody Blues. I think it was released in around 1986, and it's called In Your Wildest Dreams. And it's a really nice, it's a really nice um, song and whatnot. But what really captures something that's more universal than than the song is the music video paired with the song. And the music video has to deal with um, the lead singer and um, a woman from his um, from his young adult days that he was in a relationship with. And goes to her seeing him on TV performing um, 20, 25 years later or something. And um, they hadn't seen each other in decades probably. And she sees him and she starts to remember, you know, um, this lost love that they had. And, and how, you know, they were in love. They, they had a lot of passion, a lot of fire at the start. Um, unfortunately, his demands from his, um, from his um, touring and burgeoning fame with his um with his bandmates um kind of kept them apart and eventually you know destroyed the relationship and she ends up with another guy she's not very happy with a family with a guy she's not really in love with um you know she's really in love with this guy but you know the pressures of, of his work drove them apart and you know there's a lot of regret and there's a lot of sadness to come with it for both of them honestly and and you just see that as it i'm not going to describe the video much but you can see it as it progresses. You can see the pain, you know, the, the unspoken. There's never any words spoken. It's only, only you hear the song. But you can see the pain expressions on both of their faces throughout. And it's really powerful stuff. Really powerful. And it gets at, you know, one of the most devastating things in life is unconsummated love. Um where you're really into somebody, but, you know, circumstances um, pull you apart and you're never able to truly consummate, you know, and, and the what could have been is always one of the most haunting things in life is the what could have, what should have, um, the what if, you know, the what if. And uh, that could be probably, you know, for most people at the end of their, you know, at the end of their life, um, one thing they really regret is not, pursuing different relationships or a relationship a specific one and and it not working out or someone unexpectedly dies you know or something like that early on and it's just devastating unconsummated love and that's why that's why the song and why especially the music video is so powerful because i think a lot a lot of people can relate to it um yeah just a lot of people can relate to it and it's just it's such an empty feeling. It's such a, especially when you're not happy with your current situation, you think about what could have been otherwise um, with this other person and that you really had a connection with, but, you know, circumstances wouldn't allow it. Um, or you just didn't try hard enough at the moment, at the time, and or you thought, no, well, we'll get back together some other time, or and it didn't work out, and, and that's... Man, that's, that kind of regret is something I don't think anyone should have to, to live through or feel. But it's very real. And it's very real in this world. And so many people have experienced it. I think that's why that song was so, especially the music video, was so popular at the time. You know, there's universal truths. And um, you only have to look at their, their, their expression on their faces and the music video and it says it all. You don't need words. You don't need words. And, um, you know, at the end, you're just kind of left with those, those thoughts of what if at the end of the day. Just that empty feeling. Hmm. What if? What if?